Hey, how's it going? Sandro here from socialwoodworks.com. On today's video, I'm sticking with the shop efficiency theme and I made a jig for my trim router to be able to cut out circles quickly and easily. So stay tuned and we'll get into the video. Okay, so here is the finished jig mounted on my trim router. Um, and essentially it's just a piece of hardboard that I cut to a workable length for my project and my specific needs. I took off the base plate, which you saw in the video for the trim router. I used that as a template to measure where my holes are gonna be drilled. And I just drilled a couple, or I drilled four one eighth inch holes for the screws to pass through. And then I countersunk those so that the screws sit below the surface of the hardboard so that there's nothing scratching your project when you're making your circle. Um, I didn't go into the, the details and measurements of my jig because it's specific to my project. For your project, you'll have to find how big of a circle you wanna cut. You're gonna find the radius of that circle and that's gonna be your measurement. So you're gonna measure from the outside of the cutting blade to where you're gonna drill your pivot hole, and that is your radius. So you wanna make sure you, you measure from the outside of the blade because that's gonna be the, the furthest cutting distance. Um, that's gonna be, how do I explain that? That's gonna be basically what the circle is cut out to. Don't measure from the inside because there's still that quarter inch cutting blade that's gonna go around. So you wanna measure from the outside if that makes sense. If that doesn't make sense, go ahead and throw a comment down in the comment section. I'll try to answer it a little better. Um, anyhow, so now that I got that mounted on my trim router, on my project, all I have to do is find the center of the circle, drill a 3 8 inch hole there. I got this 3 8 inch dowel, stick it in the uh, jig here, and then this goes right into that pivot hole on your project. Then you're able to slowly and carefully cut around the uh, circle. Make a few passes if you got 3 quarter inch stock or thicker. Uh, you probably want to take two or three passes. If you just got something thin, like a quarter inch, you could probably do it all in one pass. Make sure you put something underneath, like a piece of scrap wood or something, so that you don't cut your workbench or something like that. Um, anyways, if you need to make perfect, crisp, um, exact circles that look nice with a clean cut edge, this is the way to go. You can cut a circle with a jigsaw and try to make it perfect, but you're never going to get exactly on those lines. Anyhow, that's it. That's the jig. This is another quick way to uh, increase your efficiency in the shop um, and accuracy uh, in, in, in this case. So I uh, hope you liked the video. This is a short and sweet one. Quick, easy tip for your wood shop. If you're uh, needing to cut some circles, maybe you'll make one of these jigs yourself. Uh, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Appreciate uh, all my viewers, all my followers. I just passed 10,000 followers last week. I'm so excited about that. Thank you guys so much. Uh, if you like this video, click the thumbs up. If you haven't already, subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any more great content. Until the next video, guys, I'll see you later.